Good news, Red. Space Raiders. Oh, nice. You were actually stood on my ass cheek a minute ago, I didn't. Really? <laughs> <laughs> but you were so into it, I thought, oh, don't disturb me. <laughs> I thought I heard a bit of a whimper. <laughs> 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 Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing the tappets. I keep forgetting what they're called. We're adjusting the, the tappets. No idea what it does. It does something um, to do with clearances on valves, I think. I don't know. My brother knows what it is. He's going to do it for me. Um, I am halfway through doing the valve cover gasket, but that's in another video. If you click up there somewhere, um, you can watch the valve cover, which is now done, which is weird. Um, going back in time. Anyway, we're doing that now. So, Q Reg coming in. So you've got exhaust valve, inlet valves. Yeah. 0.2 is for your exhaust. Yeah. It's bigger because as the engine warms up, this that tolerance will shrink down. Right. So it's 0.2. Plus or minus. 0.2 plus or minus 0.05. So 0.2 doesn't fit. Right. 0.1 does. Right. So we want 0.25 really. Then 0.15. This should fit. So, 0 0.2, so that's 0 point, yeah, so that's a bit too tight. Is that what he's adjusting? Okay. Then, inlet, the reason this is at TDC at the moment. Is that the, just out of luck? All, yeah, all the rockers are loose. Nice. Yeah. One cylinder one. One cylinder one. So, we need 0 0.1. Why are these loose then? So when when one it gets it fires one three four two whatever it does. Yeah. So it's just the firing order. So when that one's doing it, that's doing the opposite. Oh okay, so when so they're both up. Yeah. You know you've gone against the uh, the channel tool um. allowance. <laughs> this is not a little tool, it's an Aldi. <laughs> Audi tools. Right, I feel like I need to do the first torque on this. Yes. I'm going to torque up the, uh, the body panel. Nice. Which, weirdly enough, is 20. <laughs> <laughs> or anything above 20. Yeah. <laughs> do you want something to lay on? Um, I've got. Nah. I can't be bothered to get on with it. Yeah, fair enough. It'll be done in a minute. <laughs> Literally, now we're ready to go. It'll be done in five minutes. That's if we can turn the engine over. Yeah, there is that. Ready? Yep. Oh, yeah. Should we move in? Yeah, yep. sweet. So, keep going. Yeah. It's getting tough now. Right. Should get easier now. Ready? Now it should get easier. Any good? Yeah. A bit tougher again. Oh. One more. That's it. You're doing really well. Um <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of resistance on that, so that's all right. So let me just strike that off. So that is number two. Exhaust is done. Okay, keep going. I can literally see the coolant falling out. 
What? <laughs> That's what we're doing it. No, I have that, um... Of that leak that I've got to do next. Oh, Christ. Right, okay, number two definitely needs doing. Yeah? Yeah, loose as <laughs> Yeah, f*** on the sleeves, those. So... We'll just bleep all that bit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's bripping fingers at this feet and Good old family <laughs> channel this one. <laughs> <laughs> Mother beeper. <laughs> so I'm just gonna adjust this one. Okay, so I just loosened off the lock nuts yeah. on the rockers. I'm gonna hold the lock nut with a spanner, then I'm just gonna stick the feeler gauges in and then tighten up the lock nut a little bit by a little bit just until I feel some resistance on that on those feeler gauges and that's at naught point well, really, I want to go to the same as the last one. So it want to be 0 0.1. And then to tighten it up, you want to hold the, find somewhere to lean that you're not going to end up in the engine. <laughs> hold the lock nut, uh, hold the screw where it should be and then tighten it up with the spanner keeping the lock nut in the same place. Keeping the screw in the same place, sorry. Tighten it up. Just check it hasn't got any tighter. That's good. I don't think I can fit the five in. That'll be the same as the rest. Spot on. Give it a wee talky and then check it again. So you just want a little bit of resistance on there. Right. Well, well, then. Yeah, just one more to go. One more to talk there is on this yep. cylinder. Get cat hair out of there. <laughs> well, that Scooby sounds a bit funny. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> blow off valve. <laughs> She's a bit delayed. <laughs> <laughs> Getting this to a certain point, I'm trying to torque it mm. and it's turning the screw as well. So what we need to do is I'll do it up as much as I can with a spanner first mm. and then we'll um, We'll go from there. What I'm gonna have to do first though is adjust it again. Right, so there is good to me. So if you hold that where it is, and don't let it turn. Yeah. But you can take it out for a second. Just so well, I take the screwdriver out. Yeah. Yep. Okay, now pop it in. Just check the 
Yeah. Still good? Yep, yeah, still good. Okay. You ready? Yep. Fix on. Yeah. Oh, I'm just going to file that there. So now we need to do this bloody lid. There's just so much oil in here. There we go. Job done. So it seems to be running a bit better now. The old tap it's done. Um, while I was doing that job, this is well complicated because I've done like four or five different jobs all at once, so with different videos. But um, so, like in another video where I'm doing like belts and things, I've noticed an issue which I thought was a tappets, but it isn't. It's something else. But you'll find that out in another video. So subscribe below if you haven't already, um, so you don't miss that. Uh, it's quite an awkward problem um, that I've found, and it's the reason for the noise. Which I thought was a tappet, but it's not. But regardless of that, like Rachel said, there was a few of them that were out of tolerance on the clearance. Um, so he's adjusted them. Uh, seems to be running nice now, to be fair. It sounds tickety boo. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below if you've done yours, your uh, tappets, or if you plan on doing them. It's definitely worth doing. Um, something that a lot of people seem to forget about, apparently. I didn't even know what it was at the beginning of this video, but now I know everything about it. Kind of. Um, yeah, give us a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you on the next video. Did you know that Hitler actually only had one ball? Hitler, he's only got one ball. Did you know? It was actually it truth. Huh? It was actually the truth. He did only have one ball. And there we have it. Yes. <laughs> Tune in next week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I'm> terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Hitler's testicles. <laughs>